hello, and welcome back to the Interpac Academy. I'm Teresa Hippas with the Interpac Commercial Marketing Team. In this first video of a three-part series on how to select the proper industrial high-pressure hose, we will review some key terms when selecting hoses for your application. Many industrial hydraulic systems rely on hoses to transmit the hydraulic power from the pump to the cylinder or tool. Selecting the correct hoses for your system can sometimes be challenging. In this short three-part video series, we will walk you through the process of selecting your hose, making it easier to understand the terms and how to correctly select the size and type of hose that will best serve your needs. For this video series, we will assume the system will be operated at 10,000 PSI or 700 bar. Let's start with some common terms used when working with industrial high pressure hydraulic hoses. Materials are the first consideration when selecting an industrial high pressure hose. There are three basic hose materials to consider, rubber, thermoplastic, and plastic. Plastic hoses are required for applications specifying non-conductive hose material. For this series, we will focus on only the rubber and thermoplastic hose materials. There are differences in the operating characteristics depending on the material, which we will cover in the next video. Safety, or design factor, is another term used when specifying an industrial high-pressure hose. This value relates to the ratio of the working pressure rating for the hose to the minimum burst pressure of the hose design or material. If a hose has a safety factor of two to one, the rated operating pressure will be one half of the minimum burst pressure of the hose. So an industrial hose rated at 10,000 PSI or 700 bar would have a burst pressure of at least 20,000 PSI or 1,400 bar. Specifications for high pressure industrial hydraulics consider these products to be used in static conditions and can safely operate with a design factor of two to one. The Interpac 900 series rubber hoses, sometimes referred to as jacking hoses, meet the two to one safety factor. In certain regions around the globe, a four to one safety factor is required, even for high pressure industrial hoses. In most of these regions, the Interpac 700 series thermoplastic hoses are used to meet these requirements, as these hoses have a 40,000 PSI or 2,800 bar minimum burst pressure. The final term to understand is the hose end or end assembly. Most industrial hoses feature male pipe threads on each end. These threads are usually one quarter inch or three eighths inch NPTF threads. To simplify ordering, many hoses can be ordered with an installed coupler on one or both ends. I hope you found this video on hose terminology useful. In the second video, we will discuss how to select the proper hose material for your application. For further information, please visit us at interpac.com or reach out to your nearest Interpac contact for further assistance. I'm Teresa Hippis, and for the Interpac Academy, thank you for watching.